The Dallas World Aquarium is back open after months of being closed due to COVID-19. Madison is live there this morning. And Madison, I understand that while they were closed, they were busy making some changes to the exhibits, right? And doing some remodeling? Yeah, they remodeled the entire aquarium, but they also added a brand new exhibit. So we're excited to be in that exhibit this morning, showcasing the state of art exhibit that it is. But I also want to tell you that in the couple of hours that I've been here at the aquarium this morning, the animals are now up and active. They're awake, just like we are. Mm -hmm. But Sarah, there's one animal that's not quite awake just yet, and he's joining us right behind us. Tell me about him. This is Kawika. He's one of our brown-throated three-toed sloths. We have the only three brown-throated three-toed sloths outside of their native home range. So we have the only ones here in the United States, and he's been with us for almost 20 years. And he's just an incredible species, a really important ambassador. He's, uh, we're partnered with the Sloth Sanctuary down in Costa Rica. They're doing some really incredible rehabilitation and research. And so he's here representing his ecosystem. And you truly have recreated the Costa Rica ecosystem right here through this exhibit, not only through the big virtual display that we've been showing all morning long, but the trees, the plant life. Tell me a little bit about his diet, though, because you said that it's a very unique diet. Yes, so we have to actually fly his diet in fresh from the rainforest every week. He eats the leaves and the seed pods of the Cecropia tree. So that's important for him to have in his diet, so we must get it here any way possible. It's been a little bit uh, trickier with COVID-19, but we're making sure that flight gets here every week. Yeah, and even amidst COVID-19, y'all just reopened this week yes. after being closed during quarantine. But now that you're open, you're really making sure that guests feel safe when they come visit the aquarium. Exactly. We want them to have the best experience here possible. So not only are we taking temperature checks, we're maintaining social distancing, wearing masks, and we have our DWA clean team. But we're also just making sure that they have an enjoyable educational experience here. And we want everyone to feel comfortable and happy. And you can even buy your tickets online to mm -hmm. make it truly a contact-free experience. By the way, I'm told that this guy will not be moving for the rest of the day. Once he's placed, he's content. <laughs> Karen? I kind of like that. I like the sloth thing a lot. All right. Thank you very much, Madison.